Utaina toku kawa nehe kawa tua maunga. Ka wewini kawa wana tāra pata tu ki te rangi. Tūtāna is to stand the man. That's what we want the boys to do. To stand up, to stretch up, to walk in the world with their head held high. We have a series of markers, uh, markers to manhood. The first one of those is, uh, is uh, my maunga, my mountain. Identity is the, the key to everything. Paul was a great voyager and a captain, and he lived here in Gisborne. Well, at that time, they called it Tūranga Nui Akiwa. If you don't get their identity right from the beginning, if they don't know who they are, how, how can they build on who, they, who they're going to be? The root system is a metaphor for our identity. If that root system is healthy and thriving and strong, then we can grow a strong trunk. When the boys come in at the start of year 10, they're still very much, you know, they're year nines that have had a holiday. Um, and there's, there's a whole lot of, um, you know, it's not a, a sort of a road, road to Damascus moment where they sort of all of a sudden they, they get it. So it's our tree. And the plan is for this tree to be around long after you leave boys high. Our challenge as teachers is getting the boys to own the material for themselves. So there it is guys. Next lesson, we'll, um, I'll get you to name the pot. Everyone will put their name on there. Sometimes uh, life throws a curveball at you and, and it's how you deal with it. It's really important. So we talked to the boys about, uh, about two mountains either side of the Valley of Tough Decisions. Two mountains, they call it, and one mountain's called Mount Dickhead, and the other one's called Mount Good Guy. If you climb Mount Good Guy, then you're choosing a path that, that, uh, that's true to your values. Uh, if you're climbing Mount Dickhead, then, uh, then obviously you've, you've done something wrong. You've been following in the footprints of others. Now it's time for you to make your own footprint. From this point on, boys, this is where you become your own person, your own man. What type of person are you going to be? What kind of man are you going to be? Huge satisfaction that the police and the community have all bought into the idea that you need to proactively grow young men. We have police mentors in every year 10 class and uh, yeah, it's, it's working really well. The policeman that was in my classroom, he told us he didn't like the fact of taking in young men our age, you know, for disciplinary reasons. He wanted us to just be up front with him. If you had any issues outside of school, then what you really had to do was tell them about it. The other ceremonies that run through the year are about challenges. Uh, they're about introducing uh, mentors from home to Tutane. They're all about building towards a uh, final challenge. You've got to undergo a solo camp, which is quite a scary prospect for a 14-year-old boy. Most of them haven't done that sort of thing before. We asked the boys to reflect on the sort of man that they want to be. We had like a, a tarpaulin four pegs. The sleep wasn't very nice, but the next morning it really helped me, it really helped me gain confidence. And then the next night we had a campfire where we everyone talked individually about their own personal feelings and different problems they had. We hear some pretty, some pretty horrible stories um, from some boys who haven't had great lives or have had huge challenges to face. Every one of them has a male that they can relate to, who's going to take an interest in them and going to stand by them as they go through this journey. Help me, sir. No! <laughs> One of the key items we decided to look at was detention data. And we found that over the first couple of years of Tutane, they were reduced by more than half. After six years of, of the program running, I, I, I've certainly seen a change in, in attitudes, uh, a reduction in all offending in, in, uh, involving youth. And that's been a big impact in, in our community because the boys are a reflection of our community.